A binomial test on a single proportion in SPSS. Let us test the proportion. We want to test an hypothesis on a share or proportion in the population. For example, can at least 65% of all households receive a particular TV station? The household's example dataset contains a variable TV reach, denoting if a household in our sample can receive the TV station. It has two categories, coded 1 for no and 2 for yes. So, we want to test if at least 65% of the households score yes in the population. To test one proportion, go to Analyze, Non-Parametric Tests. I recommend using the Legacy dialog, which contains the option Binomial. The binomial test pictogram shows a 0 and 1, which reminds us that it tests one category against another category. As we will see, we must be very careful in selecting these categories. Ok, let us run the binomial test. First, we must select the variable. In this case, it is TV reach, which was coded 1 for no and 2 for yes. Now we must tell SPSS which code must be used as the test category. SPSS is very peculiar at this point. We must specify the lowest category, which is 1 for TV reach. In other words, we must test the proportion of households in the population that can not receive the TV station. There are two ways of selecting the test category, which are listed under Define Dichotomy. The first option is to use the first value of our variable that appears in the data set as the test category. We recommend not to use this option because the first value does not have to be the lowest category. Instead, use the second option. Specify the cut point. Here you enter the value of the lowest category. In our example you enter 1, which represents no reach of the TV station. If you are dealing with a variable containing more than two values, such as household income, specify the highest value that belongs to the lowest category. For example, specify 40,000 if you want to test that a particular proportion of households in the population earn at most 40,000 euro. For TV reach, we enter 1 as cut point, so we will test the proportion of households in the population that do not receive the TV station. Finally, we must specify the test proportion. Now, pay attention. If we want to test that 65% of all households can receive the TV station, we must realize that 35% cannot receive it. And since we are testing the category of households that cannot receive the TV station, we must enter 0.35 as test proportion not 0.65. In the end, we are going to test the null hypothesis that 35% of all households in the population cannot receive the TV station. We can specify an exact test, but we will see that SPSS uses an exact test automatically here. In addition, we can set some options, but these are not of interest, so let us paste the command and run it. Here we have the output. It shows the two groups that we have created with our cut point. As you can see, group 1 contains all households with score 1 or less. Just note the smaller than sign before the equals sign. This is the no category in our data set. This group contains 58 out of all 120 households in our sample, which is 48% of the sample. We test this proportion against the hypothesized proportion of 0.35. Our null hypothesis states that 35% of all households cannot receive the TV station. The p-value turns out to be 0.002, which is well below 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis. Note that the p-value is exact and one-sided. SPSS uses an exact approach to calculate the p-value which is OK. More importantly, the p-value is based on a one-sided test. What does this mean here? 
If you test a null hypothesis other than that half of the population is in the test group, SPSS uses a one-sided test. This is a right-sided test if the test proportion is smaller than 0.5, as in our example. This means that SPSS tested the null hypothesis that at most 35% of the households in the population cannot receive the TV station. According to the p-value, we must reject the null hypothesis. Because we must reject the null hypothesis, we can conclude that we are sufficiently confident that more than 35% of the households cannot receive the TV station. In our sample, for example, 48% cannot receive the TV station. In terms of the original research question, we are confident that less than 65% of all households in the population can receive the TV station. So no, we do not think that the TV station reaches at least 65% of all households. As a final comment, please remember this. SPSS executes a two-sided test if the test proportion is 0.5, it executes a right-sided test if the test proportion is below 0.5 and a left-sided test if the test proportion is over 0.5. This concludes the micro-lecture on executing a binomial test in SPSS.